Mike Bird is a 28-year-old video game collector and owner of the store Video Game Trading Post in Massapequa, New York. Kevin, you want to grab me another water? Games spanning all generations, both new and old, stock the shelves. Many, many people refer to this as heaven. Whether it's, like, they, they come in here, they're like, this is, this is my vision of heaven. They, they love it. But his store has placed him in a difficult situation financially. I buy way more than I sell. Uh, so there's more coming in than going out. We guarantee him if, they, if anything like that happens. And for his employees, it's a growing concern that his buying habits are becoming a problem. As of the past few weeks, we've been kind of saying, Mike, you know, um, you got to stop buying crap that doesn't sell. And um, he's just kind of like, oh, it's such a good deal. You know, I worry that sometimes he spends too much money. You know, I have, uh, I have to tell him sometimes. I even say to him, I'm like, you know, just pass it up. Just pass it up. Don't worry about it. When he was 21, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. It's been a hell of a ride. My bipolar is, is a lot different than everyone else's. Like, my happy is com just completely manic. Like, I don't get sleep. I don't get any kind of, like, there's no rational thinking. I just, I go on buying frenzies where I just buy everything and anything under the sun, whether it makes sense or not. Hey, I'm looking forward to more. <laughs> Unlike most people with bipolar, he doesn't suffer from depression. It's the highs that he struggles with. I love becoming manic. I mean, there's nothing more than more exhilarating than just ha just going and, and just spending all my money. I'm thinking 200. <laughs> Whether I make $200 one day and spend $600 that day, I mean, it it it, it doesn't mean anything to me. It's, it's adding up quickly. I, I don't make smart decisions and and smart business decisions. So how does he manage to stay in business? The store's location. This is a back alley basement. Uh, so the rent here is very low. Also, customers trade their games for his games, which accounts for most of the store's profit. Say someone someone trades me two $20 games for one $20 game. I can turn that into either more stuff or put that towards the rent for, for the month. But he still considers his shop just a hobby and not a business. Everything that I buy, whether it's for myself or uh, for the shop. It's, it's all just an investment, just trying to build a better collection and, and a better life for myself. A life that is supported by his friends. It's because the people surrounding me are just helping me out, or whether it's the community of, of gamers just coming and, and buying stuff from me. Uh, that's the only thing keeping this place afloat. You have so many people that they just want to see me be successful. I really want to get to that last level. That was, that was it's not... really welcoming to be here. Just a great vibe. And I, I really enjoy being here. That's why I come back so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Basically, everyone else is, is pulling me to just keep myself sane. And staying busy helps him live a more meaningful life. The, the shop, it's, it gives me something to do. On that cabinet right straight away. Everyone, I mean... You, they they need their purpose in life, whether whether it's just getting up, getting the paper for for their grandma and bringing it to her. I mean, you you need some kind of of, of feeling, some kind of uh, reason to get up in the morning. And my reason to get up in the morning, besides my family, my girlfriend, and and everyone, is the, the coming here. <laughs> Wait, Sarah, what one? Coming to the shop. I mean, that's that's my vision of heaven right there.